I don't I want my kids to be able to go back in school because to me especially my daughter with disability it's easier to have that interaction with people face to face but if this strand if this coronavirus is still out I don't want my kids getting sick and my oldest can bring it home to my youngest oh she's in school now so I don't want her to get sick because it'll be something hard for her to fight off because she has health issues so I don't know like it's it's definitely hard with having kids in school especially more than one this year I'll have three in school Whew, so that's gonna be a lot of work for me but a mom's gotta do what a mom's gotta do how y'all feel about it Kevin and James do y'all think that the kids should go back to school? Y'all quiet today. Yeah, I think it's a bad idea too. This it's crazy and then it's like i don't i didn't get the vaccine and i really don't want to get the vaccine i don't even want my oldest who can get it to get the vaccine um so imagine kids that do want their kids to get the vaccine and they're younger than the age that you can get it like how should they feel but i still feel like if you have it or if you don't have it you can still catch it I don't believe in the vaccine. Yeah, they are doing it for money. They definitely are doing it for money because there's no way that I'm going to let you send my kids back to school and they can get sick. Then it's like some people that don't didn't know that they had health issues find out when they get this shot because then they get sick and have to go to the hospital. And it can make things a whole lot worse. So... I don't want that or need that to happen in my household. Everybody that knows me know that I have a daughter who doesn't have the strongest lung. She doesn't have a right lung. Um, just everything on her right side is just something wrong with it. And her heart is on the right side. So I definitely don't need my baby getting sick. Not at all. Kevin, would you send your kids back to school? If you had kids, would you send them back to school? Hey, hey, everybody. A lot of y'all joined in at one time. If you all had kids, would you all send them back to school this year, especially with this new strain of COVID? I don't know. How y'all feel about that? Would y'all send them back to school? You say if you had to, you uh, then if you had them, no. Okay, so what if they were at the age they can get the vaccine? Would you send them back to school if they had the vaccine? I still say no for both. And they do say that with them getting the vaccine, that, you know, it will be a lot easier on them. But to me, you're still getting sick and you don't know what's going to happen. But there's a lot of people that have it, um, and uh, some people that's getting the vaccine is still catching it, and they're getting pneumonia. So it's just like, that's a, I don't know. I, I wouldn't even know how to explain that. Sharmita, how you feel about the kids going back to school with this coronavirus out? Like, I'd be scared that I can't, I mean, I mean, that I'll get it. 
And then it's like, if the kids go back to school, they have to wear a mask all day. And my kids don't even like wearing masks in the store. I have to keep telling them pull it up. So imagine how it's going to be with all them in the classroom and they're taking the mask off. Some kids may want to switch masks because this is cooler than the other. So it's a lot of things that can happen bad at school. Then, you know, a lot of kids don't wash their hands after using the bathroom or after eating or before eating and after eating. So it's just like y'all touching everything and everybody can still get sick. Um, I'm not sure how many kids have actually caught the vax. I mean, the virus, but I do know that some kids caught the virus and died from it. I'm going to Google it. While we on here right now, I'm going to see how many kids have caught it. I'm going to say the kids under six. I know it do say that it is milder in kids. Okay, so the children were 21% of the COVID cases around. So that's still a lot of kids and that's under six. And half of them are new, new cases. Uh, and it says about point zero one percent of them died i think it should be 50 50 virtual and in person my kids have been tested before and my oldest is fully aware of covid so i think as parents we should educate them and let them know the importance of wearing a mask i agree but do you really think that the kids are going to keep their mask on all day long because my kids only wearing them in the store Okay, I'm about to open the door. But yeah, no kid likes to wear the mask all day. Cause I hate wearing a mask in the store sometimes. <laughs> if you go to the store and you get the ones that you think can fit your face and they be too small, you be suffocating yourself with the little kitty mask. <laughs> so imagine how kids feel wearing a mask all day long. So do you really think that even though they're educated on the COVID, that they're still going to wear the mask, wash their hands, uh, and all that stuff in school when you're not around? I don't think so. They don't wash their hands. <laughs> As I said, some kids don't wash their hands after using the bathroom before or after eating. I'm talking about. What? Okay, does that note mean that you wouldn't allow your kids to get the vaccine, or do you, it's because you don't think that they're with their masks and stuff in school? Sharmita, would you let your kids get the vaccine if they gave them that age approval? No. I, I, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I don't trust the American people. <laughs> I've been seeing the videos where. Uh, People will put metal, I mean, a um, magnet up against where they got the shot at, and it's been attaching like metal. I mean, a magnet. That's what they say that their chip is. And a nurse said she scanned her thing, and a chip number came up. So she knows her chip ID. Yeah. <laughs> the videos be showing. <laughs> you is not chipping me and finding out where I am. They do that now anyway with the uh with the Exactly. Phones. The vaccine was made too quick. You can't tell me that you cannot find a vaccine for AIDS and HIV, but you can find a vaccine for COVID. That's killing a lot of people today. 
Yeah. 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 Kevin, did you get the vaccine? I'm not getting no vaccine, I can tell you that. I am not. I don't even like shots, so no. Do you know anyone in your family that got the vaccine? Cause I know a lot of people they got the vaccine and they got sick off of it. Oh, everybody! And my grandparents got sick when they had. It. They were sick for like three, four days. Oh yeah, I've known people say that their body was sore. Their Some people say they caught it. Going into the second day, that joint was taking them back. I was like, mm. Some people say their second day they feel like they actually had the virus, but people are like you can't catch it with the shot. But I've heard that people felt like they had it afterwards. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got the shot. How did you feel after you got it? Chris, I'm double vaxxed. Sheesh. <laughs> Atchison. Nobody? Wow. I know my grandmother got it. My grandmother, my grandfather. He was a little nauseous after the second shot, but I was straight. You tight, cause I probably would have been sick. I probably would have called you and be like, come take care of me. <laughs> you watching us on the big screen, that's tight. <laughs> you a creep. <laughs> that's how ain't nothing creep about you. He's all creep. I would have been like, on my way, baby. Stay on task. <laughs> Stay on task. I'm about to go in and block your ass. Right nope. <laughs> <laughs> but would you have let your kids get the vaccine? If they gave them the age approval, would you have let them get it too? No. I don't have it. I'm not getting it. <laughs> I'm covered in the creep blood mode. Oh yeah, Man, he's all he is straight creep squall. And yeah, you would, you would. You don't, you wouldn't be scared if they catch it or get sick. Chris hoping that it's gonna turn, turn them into like super geniuses or something. I'm pretty sure they smart. They, they are. Yeah, no, he don't me. say that. He's dumb. <laughs> Why Brittany? Brit said the same. <laughs> He's stupid. So I don't, don't play with you like that. He's stupid. So I don't, don't play with you like that. Yeah, see, he's the one. He thinks that I'm the dangerous one. Why are we both forgetting the Over there. Oh, yeah. That was a knock knock. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> <laughs> that was a knock knock. All right, guys, today. COVID vaccine, kids going back to school. And, oh, I'm sorry. I'm forgetting to scoot back. Okay. Yeah, because it would turn to super geniuses. I'd be mad because where the fuck my superpowers go? <laughs> Would you let Naya get it? Oh, no. Oh, no, wait, did you get it? No. Okay. See? Okay, Amazon. See, oh. I'm telling you. Yeah, no, I oh, wouldn't let like, any of my kids get it. And my grandmother was like, I think you should get it because your your second daughter has health problems and you want to make sure that no one catches it around her. But I'm good. I heard that people get sick off of it. They actually feel like they caught it. So if I feel like I caught it, I can pass it to her. No, it's, it's too easy for her to catch it and I don't need that. 
Well, I mean, with with any with any vaccine, you gonna have some kind of symptoms from it when you get it. But not feeling. But like I, I told I totally no. Nah, it'd be like that though. Like that's that's why that's the same reason why I wasn't messing with flu shots because I had to get a jump. Had to get a jump for the hospital. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, girl, can't you just give me a shot of saline or something and sign this paper? Yeah, I was like, is it gonna hurt? Just it wasn't. Things. It wasn't even about it hurting for me. It's just like you know, for me, it's too. It's too fifty fifty. You, you know what I'm saying? I will send the kids to the grandparents for two weeks. Chris, I'm about to block you because you're not staying on task. You're being a <laughs> whore right now. He's talking about quarantine. You're being a whore right now. He's talking about quarantine. <laughs> we are trying to do something positive here. Okay. Oh, you want to join the show today. You missed the station. Oh, my goodness. But Why how do you feel about the happening? vaccine and kids going back to school? Sorry, y'all. I didn't even realize that I didn't fix this joint thing. So let's get back to business. Yeah, she's he always on joke time. But do you know so do you know young people that's like our age that got the vaccine? Yes. And how did they feel after it? They felt they said they felt fine, you know. They the uh, the most thing I've seen is a lot of people say that their arm was hurting like real bad afterwards, like it's real um real tender, red and swollen. Mm-hmm. I heard I'm just they had headaches, their body hurt, they had body chills. Hey, but you know what though was weird? Ever since my grandparents got the vaccine, when I come around them, my head start hurt. Oh yeah. Yeah, that shit is weird. <laughs> it's true. I noticed that every time I get close to my grandmother now, like the front of my head right here start hurting. I seen a little post that was like uh people that got the vaccine, uh what is it, like twenty thirty, we'll have the guns, the people that get back then get vaccines and the uh, ones that got vaccines be zombies. So we about to shoot them. <laughs> so anybody with the vaccine, you're gonna turn into a zombie in twenty thirty. You're gonna turn into a zombie. I'm trying to hold on y'all, I'm sorry. Oh, why didn't it do it then? I wouldn't get the vaccine. Oh. And then I seen videos where the president and everybody was supposed to get the vaccine. And if you look oh, you at it, they it. pulled it out and pushed it back in because there wasn't nothing it. in the needle. You see? You saw that. I thought it was I did. I saw, I saw that too. So they really wasn't getting that shot. I think they just... But you, the but, you, but you know what? With, with anything, every everything is is experimental. I think the one thing that's, that's really getting people is the fact that they're not being truthful about information they're withholding information which isn't right you know what i'm saying let people know what they're dealing with tell people what's really what everybody that's joining how do you feel about kids going back to school with the covid still out me personally i'm like at this point you didn't open everything back up you're forcing people to go back and do certain things so it's just like cool yeah but they gotta gonna... we gotta go back to wearing masks now I would not never plan yeah, on taking I, I mine never off. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what's crazy? Me and Britt was already doing that long before, okay? And we faithfully young. We was already taking wipes, hand sanitizer, bleach wipes. We was already wiping stuff down and all that before quarantine. When we were going into a plate, like on an airplane, that's recycled air. So it's recycled air. I don't want to breathe in the person's breath from CA1 up there and I'm in <laughs> G2 back here. I'm like, hell no. I don't want that. But Caucasian people nowadays are not wearing masks. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. I see a lot of new Caucasian people walking around with no masks, but I see black and brown people are staying masked. Yeah, they're trying to yeah. kill us. Ah man, I'm trying to tell you. I think this, this. We talking weird stating facts, and definitely expressing fears and opinions. Okay, you can't just have just a mix of opinions, but nothing solid to build upon. I'm scared my kids gonna get it, and I'm just gonna be like, "What the hell am I supposed to do?" I don't want to catch I'm a, it. I'm gonna have t- an infant now. I, I'm going to tell you my, my biggest fear about Naya getting getting the vaccine 
is because even even with a simple cold, like Wook just had a cold, and she runs high fevers. Mm -hmm. So the fact that people have you know reactions like that, me as a mother, I'm like, no, no, mm -hmm. no. Y'all gonna have to. Sorry, not this batch. Next. Not this Catch me next go round. That's why I'm. Like, I'm definitely. I've always been that person. And though. then it was that the uh, you had a Johnson Johnson that was giving people blood clots, and then you had one of them. Was it my? Was it Moderna or something like that? Mm -hmm. Moderna was giving people. Um, what was it? Moderna was doing something to people. So it's just like, how do you actually really trust these things? That's just like kids nowadays yeah. don't get chicken pox. Okay. You that? Well, that's because we were all vaccinated for chicken pox a long time ago. and But they wasn't. But you see, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, you have to stick by those same principles. Back then, before this, the technology was developed as here now, you had people, when you got sick, you stayed in one area, you stayed in one space, you stayed in the bed, like... You were quarantined. Like, they was already doing that. Yeah. People were already staying away and doing what they had to do as far as, you know, making sure that they didn't get sick. And so, what was the John... I think the Johnson Johnson was giving you the blood clots. I'm trying to... And Madonna was doing something else. I forgot what it was, but it wasn't good. And me searching this, like, newborns can catch it too. Like, I... Me having my child in the hospital during the pandemic, I was scared that my daughter was going to get sick. Then when I got tested, when I was in labor, you have to get tested. We know that. Yeah, and they had to swap me twice because the nurse used the wrong one the first time. She used the one that stung like shit. <laughs> and then they came back and was like, oh, she gave you the wrong test. Bullshit. She swiped me already. I'm good. <laughs> that shit hurts. Yeah, she It's okay like somebody put some alcohol on oh. an open sore. Oh, nah, they did. You said they only, you only let them swab you once, though. They swab me once and they came back and had to do it again. And oh, the other yeah, one was like yeah. right here in the entrance of your nose. Like it wasn't bad, like the first one. Oh, okay. They, she probably stabbed you a little bit. No, that shit stain. <laughs> she she probably, was like all the way up there. So yeah, like she, she trying probably, to touch my brain. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you was about to say that. <laughs> so it's just like, oh my goodness. But I'm definitely scared to send my kids back to school, y'all. Oh, I'm ready for mine to go back to school. I'm just like, do do not you send better act back to school. You like better that. act. You better so act I don't like, you, like that would. you better act like you got some goddamn sense. Okay, <laughs> wear your mask. Wash your hands. Don't be picking no damn food up off the table or a seat and and eating it like none of that. Like if you know if I was sitting with you and we were sitting down eating, you wouldn't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Just that simple. That's how mom's getting that. And you know, you go, you gonna be on duty. Okay, now what if because cherub is going too? Well, what if your kids tell you that they don't want to go back to school? Mm -hmm. Oh, if my would you kid... value their pain? Would you listen, or would you just be like, "I'm the mother, and I say you gotta go back"? Oh yeah, well if they don't want to go back, they don't gotta go back. But do you think it was? Hey, hey. Do you think it was? We're talking about um. COVID-19, going, going back to school. How do you feel about that? Because I know you have baby boys. So how do you feel about him going to child care and stuff with this vaccine? I mean, this uh, COVID still out there. I'm so easily distracted. But Send them niggas back. What? what? Sorry. Somebody, I was reading something that somebody yeah, said. Chris, you ignorant. Hold on. Let me see. Hmm. I see, look. Sinopharm. No, remember and Florida? Sinovac. Oh, Sinopharm and Sinovac. Two doses of each are required. We was in Florida together. <laughs> That's what we meant. At. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> you know what's Who crazy? Who cut off all their hair and look like Eve now? <laughs> But that's not what we talking about, sir. We are talking about kids We're going back to school with this vaccine. Of music. I appreciate that. Because I definitely have ascended quite a few times <laughs> since the cut. Thank you. Yeah. 
So each of them, you get two doses of. That's the same. I'm just looking. I'm trying to find the other ones. That's the one I'm. Yeah, looking for. I know it was Johnson Johnson, Moderna, and Pfizer. That's the ones that's on here, Moderna and Pfizer. But they end up bringing Johnson Johnson back out, even though they had problems with it. Johnson Johnson. I don't know why I say it like that. But. <laughs> because of my dear Johnson Johnson. <laughs> Johnson Johnson. Delta variant now dominant in Washington. Washington, where? Here? Yeah, we was at the football thing. I forgot um, the guy he was messing with. Found it with. Uh, I don't this know if his Jansen's name, but Lowe's. She cut it all off. Now she look like E. <laughs> oh, shit. I like it, uh, by the way. It's very nice. Song. What? The nose ring? So we went down oh, there. yeah. I meant to tell we you. We went down Thank there you. in like January. Oh, yeah, you do remember. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So how do you feel about the kids mm -hmm. going back to school with the COVID out? You know, it's a new uh, thing. Very. Yo, they really charging college students to go back, back to school. Yep. They got to. They charging college students if they don't get the vaccine or some shit like that. But yeah, as far as the children, I don't know. I don't know. like. I don't like college students are those children. They really need to like. I don't know. They need to just stick with what they did last year and just homeschool. Like honestly, you know how hard that is to homeschool, and now I will have three in school. Well, really, that will be hard. No, really, though. Yeah, they had really yeah. the thing. I think the hardest part for me was trying to follow the school schedule but my schedule is set so yeah that's that... the difficult part so i'm like if i'm going home school i'm going home school bye school but the thing is is i have a child with a disability so it's so hard because she doesn't understand a lot and then it's like her Which teacher is better for year, you to but no because the way her teacher was explaining it she wasn't saying adding this attraction she was using like college words and i'm just like you do realize that you have kids in your class that has a disability that's behind those students. So I was just like, and then, oh my God, now today we have more Spanish teachers than we have African Americans. So when they're telling my daughter she needs speech, I'm in my mind, I'm like, you do too, because I don't know half of the things you say in class. So <laughs> it's hard. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th I think that's, I think it's fucked up to make children go back to school, especially with it being like, a real worldwide crisis like it's not like one country going through it it's, we all going through it so and then for there to be like um it's supposed to be coming back i heard it's already so, back it's in texas it's a new strain it's worse than the first one yeah it's a variant yeah it's, it's a variant yeah so yeah I'm that's just extra fucked out, up you know, you know what i'm saying, saying. <laughs> my daughter she's still, on, she's still on the fence okay Cause she's on the one hand, she's like, I'm ready to go back to school. You ready to go back with this COVID out? It's only she said only because oh, she, she wanna COVID. see her friends. Oh, she yeah. she wants to physically see her friends. She's tired of just playing that, yeah, with them. I'm tired of being, being in the house. house. I'm tired of being in the house. <laughs> I want you to go to your friend's house. Well yeah. if I had to choose, I, I would do virtual. Time. I would do virtual because I don't want my kids to get sick. I don't, for, for me, I'm just like the stuff that they're, that they're doing. I'm just like, okay, I can teach my kid this on my time. What right, right, y'all right. are doing, I don't need to be wasting my time trying to make sure she's paying attention to you while little Bobby Sue over here digging up his damn nose <laughs> and she over here holding little girl. No, I'm dead ass though. This little girl, she is in school Hi. holding her little infant sister, like newborn baby. She's trying to do her work holding a newborn. Oh, no. yeah, and the baby crying. Oh, like the video of the lady that was naked behind her son? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Lord. Yeah, girl. Yeah. Or how about the mama who was walking around in the road with the J and the body and she jumped real fast? She's like, oh, man, I got you. Over there going in. No, like, that's, that's, that's another thing. Like, a lot of these schools be really just making free time for parents to do what they got to do, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just really just making free time for parents to do what they got to do, too. Like, I feel like 
I feel like parents need, you know, the child to be in school as much as the children need to be in school because until they are age to really handle they self, school kind of like alleviates eight hours out of the day, right? To handle other business that can't be handled after five o'clock. So that's it's, it's, it's a that's give. It's, it's a give. Moms should definitely get a salary. Stay at home moms. Yeah, that's how I was like. Instead of you paying these schools and the kids are not in school, pay us parents. You, we doing y'all jobs. I'm telling you, bro. Like, give me a check because this is work. I'm cooking. I'm cleaning. I'm teaching my children. Mm -hmm. I'm making sure that my bills is getting paid. I'm helping somebody else make sure that their bills is getting paid. Mm -hmm. I am. Right. I what I'm being a whole secretary right here. From my home. That's a full time job. Send me a check. Yeah. Shit, that's more than a full time job, honestly. That's that's, that's twenty four hours. Because you're doing the work of Hi Judy, Judy, Judy. No, that's my Peter. I miss you, Mark. But um uh, see well, you know with virtual learning as well, you don't have to be in the classroom. You can always be like I opt out of being on video, but you can just go in and do the work. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't yeah. know and kids don't really know. Like, I damn sure was not paying attention when I was inside school. So imagine being on video chat with some teacher that you really don't even care for. Like, I don't know. The stimulation cannot be there. Yeah. And then it's like nowadays, like, the math is different. Like, everything seems different than what we learned in school. Or they're learning yeah. something that we learned in fifth or sixth grade. They're learning in first grade. Oh, I don't like the way they do math now. I don't either. It, I, I finally, I finally grasped the concept of the number line thing. It took a little bit because I was what just like, line with X? "What? You know how they be like three plus four equals X, or X times three equals a certain number, or something like that?" Oh, that's just find the missing number. They just try and make it complicated because they're trying to prepare yeah. them for algebra. But they're still doing something. Yeah, like that's not like integrated algebra. Honestly, that's like in school. Like they doing doing X's out of school. elementary school now. That's crazy. I didn't get to X and Y and all of that shit until I was like sixth grade. No, I, I did Yeah, that's because back then it was uh, we was they was just using question marks. Yeah, it's just yeah, and the only like let's just be honest about the history of it all. The only reason why they even decided to have children go to school in the early 1900s is to prepare kids to get factory jobs. You know what I'm saying? Like, they were actually I don't know really learning trades. They were yeah, people, yeah. people were trade. You had a trade. You had a career, not a job. Like, yeah, by the time you got out of high school, you had a whole thing going on. Yeah. You hey, was working your way up to masonry. I can never say that word. What? Masonry. You know, people who do... I can't. I can't. I can't say uh, like millennium either. That's hard. Millennium. Hey, everyone joining. Millennium. We are talking about um, kids going back to school with the COVID going uh, still around. How do you feel about it? Would you rather in school or would you <laughs> would you rather in school Masonry. or on uh, yes. home school? Masonry? Masonry? Mm -hmm. I think I'm saying it right. They were the same thing. Yeah, masonry. I know that's um, what it is. I'm trying to make. See, he said it. Yeah, it's just it sounds weird to me. Yeah. I think the R after the N. I think the R after the N is whooping your ass right now. Like, yeah. <laughs> like where do you put that weird thing? Masonry. Got you. Masonry. Yeah. Right. Okay. I was like, why? Well, yeah. Hi, yeah, like, you know, like, oh, that masonry thing, that's cool, too, but, like, you know, to be an electrician as I am, or to be a carpenter, well, that's masonry, too, or brick mason, like, you know, somebody that builds stuff like that, or, you know, just to be a concrete finisher, like, that's that's still going to get you, like, a, a job. job wasn't, wasn't you know, all that. That's going to get you a good job. Would you send your kids back to school with the um, COVID still out or coming back around? How do you feel about that? Skit, how do you feel about that? Kids coming back with the COVID still out? It's, it's, it's a bit of sweet thing for me because I'm just like, you know, on the one hand, kids are becoming too dependent on technology. But it also made me very aware of the things that my child does not know how to do. 
I've learned so much about the things that the basic things that when I was nine, my kid's age versus when she's nine, I'm like, oh, it's night and day. Like they chill straight chilling compared to what I was doing at nine. Right. But I'm saying they keep the children. Yeah, it's like and and a lot of these things like these 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 classes, they be trying to judge kids on like a generalized perspective when they learn differently. Like, you know, just like she said, she has a child that has a disability, like a child with autism has a high focal point. But some people a child with a child with autism has a high focal point. So at the end of the day, like they probably couldn't be a mason a mason at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? But they could probably do architecture, like they could, they, their focal point is higher than the average person's. Yeah. So concentrating on one thing is literally like they can literally do inhuman shit like with their focus. So that's something that architecture should be able to do or a uh, paleontologist should be like, you know, but they don't have those things for like public school children or whatever, or even private school children. They're not trying to teach them these things. These are things that you have to fall into usually. Yeah, so like they're not really giving a better shot. You're judging yeah, you're judging a fish from yeah, its ability to smart, come to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's really yeah, fucked up how they hide children. I'm talking about you, too. See, when you talk about architecture, let me tell you, my daughter's in the first grade. My oldest in the first grade, and her teacher had her drawing the inside of a house. Like, she had to draw the walls and the angles and all that stuff like a, an adult, like a job. Like, Sky, she could draw the outside of a house. That's all you're going to get out of her. I ain't even put her back in art after that. I'm like, what kind of... What? What are y'all doing? Like, they're not old enough to draw the inside of the walls and the angles and all that stuff. Like, no, I don't no. get it. Yeah, well, you have to teach kids about depth perception. Um, it's, a bit, it's hard I because don't. she has a disability, so she wouldn't even understand half of that. Yeah, because a lot, a lot of what Jen... Like see, but that's, that's, that's the thing, for real, because uh, my daughter, she's a hands-on <laughs> learner. <laughs> She's a hands-on learner. Yeah, so the yeah, virtual thing. Too. And also, Anaya is very reserved. And that's the bad part. Because the, being virtual actually doesn't teach your kids how to be social. Mm -hmm. So when we go out in public, oh, she gets excited. She's like, all of these people. Why? Why is everybody here? Why is everybody out at one time? Why is everybody crowded? Why isn't everybody walking one way? Why is everybody walking whatever way they want to walk? Like the disorganization and the, just the different smells. She'd be like just over, I guess, uh, hyper. She overly stimulated. Mm -hmm. And she's just like, I'm ready to go home. Mm -hmm. And we get now, so she's just like, ah, oh, calm place. Hey Nika, how do you feel today. about the kids going back to school this year with the COVID out? Because you got babies in school, or would you rather them do virtual so learning like they did last year? Yeah, yeah, man, and you know what? I had a whole 90s summer thing planned for them, and I'm upset that this didn't pan out like I thought it was going to. They go live when they get out. <laughs> they be going live in school, like they all got phones. And not, nothing is how it was before. Like, do people even sit down and, like, eat at the dinner table together anymore? We do sometimes. About what they did at school. Most of the time, they just exciting. be on your phone. They just be on the phone. And, or everybody get their food, go to their room. Like, they, they, don't, they don't know nothing about, about catching about fireflies. Do you know how... I let them catch the lightning bugs, man. With, with the mason jars. Yeah, the lightning like, bugs. Like country style. That's how I learned. I learned with the mason jars. I took them outside oh, to do that. They were so the mason jar, I'm good. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's a hippie song. Nah, I mean, I definitely am a hand-on learner. Like, if I see something on a video or if I read about it, I'm going to have only so far of a perception of, oh, like, how to complete an objective doing it. You know what I'm saying? But, like, you know, once I, I finally put my hands on it, all of that shit I just read is going to click. It's going to click to me. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, Nika, it is going to go back up, especially with his glasses. It's not now. even thick, but it's like he can see into the future. Really, it's like he's far, far advanced. <laughs> Yo, you know what? Let me take these glasses off, okay? Like, I know about to do that about the glasses. That's crazy. I, know, I said they're not 
thick. I had to say, I said that first because I didn't want you to think I was <laughs> saying, like, cracking on you because you can't see. Hey, so for my parents, I what love. didn't y'all like about virtual learning? Man, I'll never get a break. Now I see Bro, you I had two in school. Remember, I had three in school. What do you mean? Oh, my God. You don't get a break. Oh, I got a bunch of grown ass adults I live with, man. I can't wait to move. No, I just wait till September 18th. But we're going to go back to the topic. Um, <coughs> mommies and dads, how do y'all feel? What, what didn't y'all like about virtual learning? I didn't like it because I had more than one, but I had to sit next to my daughter, my oldest, the whole entire class. And then my it. other daughter. She was so bored with the class that she would turn around, put her feet on the wall. She'd be jumping through the camera. Like, she has no attention span, like, whatsoever. What you about to say? I'm not you. Trying to keep Naya. Focus focused on my, uh, my child was a class clown. You hear me? Yes, she was. Like the perfect she was. She will wait for the perfect moment to unmute and say some crazy shit so she can hurry up and get off. Like already got the arrow on the X. Butthole. Boop. I'll be like, boop. What's wrong? Don't say nothing. But then she'll just close it. It died. Yeah, oh, kids didn't like being on the computer. They ain't like what having to sit in one spot the whole entire time. That's why they closed. It's just need to be totally free. It's hard. Like it's hard doing virtual learning. But if it's gonna keep my kids safe, I choose to do virtual learning. But I I opt out of the video. I, I would rather go up and get the class to work. Hell no, it's gonna be hot. <laughs> Give them hands. <laughs> Give them hands. What you masks. doing? Hold on, Boo said. No breaks, my schedule compared to Where you schools. see Boo at? Boo. Where's Boo Working the graveyard shift was tough while he was Wait, I need some glasses, man. It's on Nisha's Boo. He said no breaks in his schedule, especially working overnight. I understand that. Like, that gotta be hard. Yeah. Chris, get give me some money. No. Getting all the money. Let me have $20. Mr. used to be in the camera. I put up all in the camera. I think the only, the worst thing that I did on the camera, it's just I really had to censor myself. I'm like, dang, I got censor myself in my own home because my kid is at school. Oh no, so, you move the computer and be like, what's your problem? Or you turn no, the camera like, on. No, <laughs> oh yeah, one time I was busting at Genesis, she turned the mute on. I was. <laughs> she knew she was about to get in trouble, but I seen her do it. <laughs> I wouldn't care. I would just stand right, right off on the on the thing like this. Nah, don't get the mine's just twin it's, now. No, it's don't don't get her. It's out. my telephone number. You got that? You don't got you? My number too, but don't say Thanks, nothing. brother. Nothing. I greatly appreciate it. Don't get her. Yo, I dad do not even get a notification. Say it again. I said I dad don't even get a no are you on the um podcast page, Nish? Are you on your page live? Yeah. Nish, you on your page live? Yeah. It don't say so. <laughs> I usually get notified when you go live. Don't send her anything. But let me see what else is on there. Um, and then doing the uh, virtual, I mean, when he was going back to school, why they eating bad lunch? And then the, the food that they was dropping off looked disgusting. See, that's why I won. That's why I'm starting my my foundation because the stuff. Yeah, that, um, I was trying to find the um podcast page though. I'm about to share it though. Uh, what is it? Trying to get this thing live real quick. Trying to get these people in here. <laughs> she uh, people keep scratching screenshot in our picture. Did you see it? Screenshot. Um, what picture? That's talking. <laughs> um, why had to be that face? But um, do you have kids? Do I have kids? Yeah. Oh nah, I'm team no kids. Not yet. Um, 
She said, not yet. <laughs> nah, I ain't get the vaccine myself. And then on top of that, when you get the vaccine, you don't, it doesn't protect you against variants. So it's kind of useless. Nope. That's and that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's just like, see the, like, okay, like with the chicken pox. When the chicken pox came out, what are different variants? The kids don't even get chicken pox anymore. Measles. Was that different? Chicken pox. Variants of measles? Help. Rubella. Anything, yeah, this is, anything deriving this is from thing. there? No. Okay? I can keep going. It's only one form um, of E. coli. E. coli. Where you get it from? Did one of y'all get Neither one of y'all got vaccinated? Huh? Neither one of y'all got vaccinated? No. But see, when we was in school, y'all, we had to go through everything. We had to go through everything. Uh, Like, what was it? The H1N1? Like, we had to stay in school. The day we had a tornado, one y'all locked down in school? Yeah, like, we had to stay in school for everything. These kids, these they kids, got free days. Man, we yeah, had, the H1N1. We had that was swamp flu, wasn't it? Drills. Hurricane drills. We had five drills. Man, when they when we first when we did our first tornado drill, I was at y'all, I was in elementary school. I was in fourth grade. I'll never forget it. They told us to get to line up in the hallway along the wall and put your head between yeah. your knees. I was like, yeah. and you know what I said? And kiss your ass goodbye, because you can't see shit. Pretty coming. much. <laughs> Pretty much. That's exactly what the fuck that was. I was like, this is set up. They try and kill us. Hello, my um, my teacher was telling me about, like, was my teacher was telling me like fourth grade. He was having like this is like around nuclear, like nuclear bombs was like a real big threat. You know what I'm saying? He was saying that they used to do that for him. They used to do like nuclear bomb threat drills or something. I'm like what the hell? Ain't no drill for this, though. Ain't no drill for COVID. Ain't no vaccination either. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Wait, how you feel about the I'll be feeling bad, too. I'll be feeling bad when I miss they show. I'll be feeling bad. I'll be like, damn, I miss the show again. I mean, you're here. You're here. Great, how you feel about the kids going back to school with this new strain of COVID coming out? Ah, she's all for her niece going back to school again. Say you are not for it and niece. Great education. Great education. No. Okay, she can get great education through her mommy teaching her. I would give. She going right back to that schedule I was on. What schedule? I got to make a transaction. So I got to get off of this. And they ain't really had no work. They just sent out that little packet. Mm -hmm. They finished that packet in a day. That's day two days. So that's boring. And look, my kids didn't get the packet. No, keep my baby home. Thank you, Britt. She said, stay home. Yes. Don't listen to Nish. Britt, did you get the vaccines? Yes, yeah, she did. She's oh, vaccinated. You're crazy. How did she, you feel after you got it? She said, oh, you're crazy. How did you feel after you got it? They had, she had COVID. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Before or after? Uh, before. Oh. Yeah, and her um. We was in Miami. You know, everybody called that on in Miami. Uh, uh um. She said, "I'm not <laughs> listening to that." Yeah, it was. It was. It was really scary for uh, for them. Her, her stepmom, and dad had it. It was. It was real bad. So, like, she's a lot of people. A lot of people. They. They would much rather, especially if you if you already had it and your experience with it wasn't the greatest. So it's like it's on. Yeah, see, she didn't have any any side effects That's when good. she when she had COVID. But parents, it was bad. It was bad, you know. So everybody everybody feels differently about it. For me, so I'm just like. Zombie That's what I'm saying with them uh the vaccines, all these zombies. She said it's but you but you know what though? 
the last few times that I've gone, when I've gone to the store and stuff, <laughs> the the kids are the are the ones who aren't wearing the mask and older white people. It's no white people that's wearing the mask, man. Not just the older ones, none of them. It's some I've seen some white people that look at their white people and be like, "What's wrong with y'all white people?" So <laughs> nothing against the white people. I didn't yeah, grow no. any horns. Yeah, no, they say twenty thirty. Your horns will start growing out a little bit. No, your horns gonna grow in September. Nah, they gave you sugar water, bro. You all right. <laughs> they ain't give you nothing. But you got a cold from grandpa. I would rather keep my kids home. And then it's like, we've been working from home since last March. And they tell us we need to go. We have to go back to work in September. I'm not going back to the building. I'm not. I'm going to stay home and teach my kids because I don't want my kids to get sick. Well, I think, and that's the thing, too. It's just like, you've already, from for me, I say, You've already shown me that you can accommodate me being at home and doing my job. Thank you. So, so why, why can't back? Yeah, Thank why you. can't why can't I have the option? Why does it have to be go back to school? Go I back to work. <laughs> go back to school. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, I it should be an option. Like, if you want to go back to work, go back to work. You know, if they say you want to stay home, no. If they work. say you gotta come to the building for two days and the rest of the days you can stay home. I'll be that, but I'm not coming back. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm Yep. No, I'm not coming back. Hey, girl. Oh, I'm not coming back in the for 24 I am not Brit. I'm an angel. I have a halo. And a horn and a tail. My dad gave his employees the option if they wanted to go back to stay home. See, that's what, that's what all jobs need to do. Give us an option. Because we it's Sagittarius got to stick together. But it's some of us that have jobs. Some of us has lost our job. Well, I didn't. But some people have lost their job. Woo! I some did. Some people, huh? I did. What you mean? Huh? Oh no, I quit. Oh, I was working. I was working at Red though. I actually didn't quit. I did. I just didn't go back after I passed out. Touch someone or something and get it. Yeah, because they tell you not to touch your nose and all that. Oh, see, I like that. One day, one, I mean, two days, one week, and one day the next week. I can do that, but I don't want to go back in fully all week long. I had, see, and then it's like, you got to come home after work, because I get off at two. You got to come home. Make sure you're, somebody got, is there to pick up your kids, pick up the kids, do oh, homework, yeah, feed them, bathe them, put them to bed, and you back to doing the same thing every day. That is exhausting. Child, I got to go get my, I got to go get a COVID test done. For your job. Go Jamaica! We're not talking about Jamaica. We're talking about COVID. I gotta go get a COVID, We're talking about the kids and COVID. Well, I gotta go get a COVID test to make sure I don't got COVID so I don't have COVID not to COVID? take to Jamaica. No. I need to. No, you know. I demand she goes. If you don't wash your hands after touching a bunch of surface, then yeah, it's more likely you'll get. That's why I say the kids shouldn't go back. No kid is gonna sit all day and wear the yeah. mask all day. They don't wash my their hands before after they eat. My kids stick everything in their mouth now in the house. They eat stuff mm. off the floor. They nasty. Don't say words like that. Don't say words like that. Child, please. Kaylee, Kaden, all of them. They nasty. What's the little one name? Oh, Chubbs? Yeah. Cherub? That's Kennedy. Yeah, Kennedy. No, Kisa. She don't know, no. She's a girly girl. I know she ain't eating answer. nothing up off the floor. She said, that fell on the toilet. You need to throw that in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> she don't like flies. She don't like nothing. She's so cute. But yeah, I'm she not saying my kids back to them. school. She said, well, better not be eating nothing off the floor. That's what your auntie said. Five-second rule. Five that's second what I'm leash. saying. Five-second rule. I'm trying to tell you. That's, <laughs> that's why That's why Anaya, for me, she's like Gemini. She's like a boy and a girl. So it's like her dark side is definitely very well, masculine. Are you scared that you'll catch it? Are you scared that you'll catch COVID? Well, I thought I got it from Caden. Yeah, oh yeah, when she just had her cold, she really thought she had COVID. She was so scared. She just kept asking me that. She was like, oh, my, God. my nose, my chest. I'm like, baby, you have a cold. <laughs> She's like, are you sure I don't have COVID? I can't stop coughing. I'm like, and when you catch a cold, how long do you cough? Well after you feel better. And she was like, 
yeah. Then when it's time for her to go with her best friend, I feel much better. She was still stomped up and everything. It was, was funny like, when I coughed up some mucus, and I was like, and Eden was like, go in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, no, I she's mean, a mess. I'm scared my kids are going to catch it, y'all. And my my second one, she will not be able to handle it. Let me tell you. I'm going to just put, yeah, see, that's, that's, that's her. Okay, that, so that's my second one. But she, that's what she, that's what she said about me too. She, that's why she says we should, uh, I should get vaccinated. But I'm like, that's more reason why for me to she, just stay on my good regimen that I've been doing and take care of my body because, whoo, Jesus, I don't need to be messing around with their poison. Yeah, but my oldest, I mean, me. my second oldest, she doesn't have a right lung, the one that, has everything we need. She doesn't have that long, and her heart is on this side. It's a lot of stuff on her, but she wouldn't be able to handle it if she caught it. Mm -mm. She would not be able to handle it, and I'm so scared that that's, that's, that's going to happen. So she cannot go to school. And your speaker and here she come. Like, I need to take her to the hospital. No, she is in here, but she can run around so she can't breathe. But she's like, Mommy, I don't feel good. I can't breathe. Like, it's bad. Mm -hmm. Keep it. Just as you do. It's like you keep but you know, I don't want my baby to catch it because she every time when I get when I get sick, maybe it's automatically be thinking about when she was like uh three and she got real real sick. I had to take her. Go ask her she so That's what they should. I'm more than likely, I'm sure they're going to be sending around, um, like, another poll. And they actually, that's what I like about Charles County, because that's how they do it. They actually sent the poll around to, like, um, the parents and everybody, so they could say what they what they, they wanted to do. Yeah. We got that, like, the second half of school, that we wanted to keep them out the rest of the school year. But it, they had no choice but to, and I don't want... Um, I don't want to put her in a video either because she gets bored. She'd rather do her work, turn it in, and be done with it. She don't want to sit in class. Like, she'd be like, Mommy, we read this book yesterday. Hey, and they were talking about kids thing. going back to school, COVID vaccines, how you feel about it. Yeah. James, you better not send my niece and my nephew to school go daycare. I'm not playing. Go ask Mommy. Why are you asking me? Because they see you. Because they see you. Yeah, I get that. I get that. But you know what? At first, I kept hearing that if you take the vaccine, that you want to catch COVID. And I was scared that if I caught it or I got sick, my daughter was going to catch it. Yeah, but see, that's that's your biggest thing. Hey, auntie. No, that's, that's valid, though, because you just like, for you, you like, ah, it's, it's either, it's, it's too much of a risk for me to like even take the chance. It's just See, like, and it, so it's just like for me, if they give her the option to stay out of school, they might as well give me the option for the rest of my kids because if they come mommy, home with it, she mm -hmm. gets it. Mom, what's in my jail paper? I don't know, ask somebody. Like, it might be in the kitchen where you filled in it. Oh, look, look up there. Look up there. Is that it? Yeah, it's like I might as well just go ahead and keep all of them on. Cause if one catch it, they all gonna catch it. Kayla, how do you feel about the kitties going back to school? Maya, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna put baby girl into daycare. How do you feel about all of that? So you're for it, Britt. Oh, Maya going, okay, now what's going to happen if she come home with COVID? Then what? He sent a request again. Hey, what's going on? My bad. I had to do something real quick. No, okay. Yeah, I want y'all to see somebody. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we can hear you. I was okay. just reading the comments. Hi, y'all. How are you? I'm fine. I, I just popped in to get my. Huh? How do you feel about the kids going back to school with COVID out? 
Right, that's my two cents. I'm, I'm kind of not in agreement with it. Why? Because ever since they try to open up everything, except for what really matters, not clubs and bars and stuff like that, but um, everything that they're opening back up, it's like the numbers are now rising, you know, in all 50 states, and I'm like, so what's going to happen to my baby? You know what I'm saying? And I don't agree with the shot. I didn't take the shot. I'm not going to take the shot. So why would I do something to my children just to fit in that I wouldn't do for myself just to fit in? You know what I mean? So... And uh, people on TikTok, whatever case, with magnets sticking to their shoulders and all, we, they have the shot administered. No, ma'am, I don't have time for all of that. You know, like, what are you really doing to us? What are you giving exactly. us? Exactly. It's some kind of. I'm listening. You, you see a lot of co uh, Caucasian people that don't wear masks anymore. So it just makes it even worse. You know what? And they don't, never mind, they got that. I don't even know. I don't know what kind of certification you got. They don't. <laughs> Ooh, cut that back in. Delete that. Delete that. <laughs> <laughs> it's long. It's long. I don't want y'all to go as far as y'all no, can. Cut my part. It don't have nothing to do with the sisters. It's my own thing. But I'm going to leave that part right there. Um, you know, they, 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 people always feel like they own something. They run something. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, mama, this is a, a, a black woman owned I, uh, and operated know, podcast. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, this is, this is their thing. Nah, but yeah, this my beautiful mother. Anything like we're just trying to give everybody a platform to talk. But Ma, I like how you put that shoulder out, girl. You was like, yes, honey. Let me drop this little. I'm gonna put walk walk a a. You put that shoulder out, honey, because you know that the shoulder was for that medicine. Put it, put the medicine there for the shot. No, ma'am. <laughs> Um, honey, I am so exhausted. I've been, just been on the road all day today, you know, but my daughter coming back from Winston stuff, coming to see this fool. I'm just really exhausted. So right now, yeah, right now, there's another one. Right now, um, everybody, honestly, except for the 13 and the 14-year-old, why well, I had to take, they about to mess up my record with this now, you know what I'm saying? Because right now, I'm batting, I'm batting, I, I want to be batting seven for seven because I got seven. However, um, they must mess up my record because that last two got to finish too. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. This virtual school is hard. I ain't signed on to be that kind of teacher. Teacher, I need my eight hours to read to read. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> Go to work. Cut. Die. Die. I need my time to get together. But I mean, if they got to be home, they're gonna be home safe. I mean, because I was thinking about just finding out what the paperwork is. You know, as far as legalities are concerned, so that I can. Um, have them take the test for their required grade and for them to um, be homeschooled yep. and for them to be able to take the test at the end of the year to pass the next grade because if you know those other set of people can do it, we can also. And um, people just need to get together collectively and us as people stop fighting one another and you know and let them show and let them see just how great we are in arms because if it took a village. Back in my day, that old proverb, the second village of it, was going to take a whole galaxy or ultraverse or something to raise these because it's, they ain't coming, they ain't, they, they're not coming to join us. They're coming to try to annihilate. So we either going to have to get on that political, we're going to have to get on that, um, the, um, what you want to do? When you, what is the, my freedom of speech, the one where you have the right to protect yourself, that one. Um, the bare arm? Yes, sir. I'm not just the ones on your body. I mean, the one that go click. And boom, and all that other stuff because they got them and they're teaching us what to do, Man, and we need to teach us what to do. What's up, point of each other? You know, that's not a bit of mine. So that's after y'all. Shoot, after I seen that little white girl going through <laughs> with an AK. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My boy Keenan on the bed. You know, Johnny Wise, you know, like, you know, I'm all about all about black content because it's a beautiful thing, and you know. A lot of times you just behave by myself. I'm just saying, but I can't hear you. I can't hear you. If you want to, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. We can't hear you. Oh, you can't hear us? I can't hear you. Yeah, we reading your lips, though. I'm, I'm seeing you doing this, like the crack crack, and I'm like, I'm with you. I can't hear you, though. Yeah, let me get off. Let me try to react myself. Can you all hear us? Oh, it's like talking over each other. Oh, because they was talking. Mm -hmm. What is the talk? Well, we're talking about kids and going back to school with this new strain of COVID coming out. Do you think that we should stick to virtual learning or should we send our kids back to school? Can I just say that this whole thing with COVID has sparked a much bigger thing, for real, for real. I really feel like a lot of parents are now that looking at COVID and sending their kids back to school and just like, 
I done not already seen I can do this myself. Why am I going like, what exactly are you giving my kids? And really, I'm seeing that I'm putting not only my child at risk, but the rest of my family at risk. You want me to send my child back to school when numbers are rising, but the last time numbers rose, you shut the world down. Because I'm never going back. Work from home, please. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to start off. I love stuff. working at Amazon because guess what? You get, you get all the PPE in the world, okay? What you do at Amazon? I pick all oh, of your fresh produce you and at? all that. That was free. That's what I was working at. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about going back. You should because it's... All right, I do it today. I was I did after that. Yeah, I was on that job for a minute before I started this one. I'm now I'm gonna go so I can talk to my supervisor, see if he'll say something. Because oh. people are mean. They are. They expecting me to just like, fulfill all my packages. <laughs> I haven't done none of them orders. I'm always in the freezer and in and uh, chill. That's the refrigerator section. I hate that part. I was in the warm section. Oh, that's ambient. That's all the yeah, sodas. Yeah, and because somebody showed me that she wait to only do ambient. Huh. I forgot. It's like something you had to click on the little gun thing they gave you, and they always gave you all the ambient orders. They never put you in the freezer pool. Oh, you can't do that no more. Everybody's required to do two hours on your shift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was something. You know, it's too cold in there. Hey, we be blasting all the good ghetto music in there. I be sliding up and down the aisles. I be having me a good old time. Throwing stuff in the bag, putting stuff up on the uh, Do you want to go shelf. back to school and you with this virus out? Or are you about to stay home and do work? Well, home? would you like to come over and say how you feel about going back to school during COVID? So you're going to go to school? All right, come in. Go join the video. Come here, you want to talk? She said, get on test. Hey, you guys. This is my baby. Hey, One at a time. Yeah, she's writing on herself with joke names. But if you say you want to go back to school and do work, you're not scared to get the, sh the uh, vaccine? You're not? So you want to go back to school? See? I, I listen to her, but this is my baby with the health problem. So you might have to work from home, boo. I do. I have Would a small. I do have a small attention. So you this is how I think school. about things for my daughter because my child is just like me. So I know that if something if something is boring to her, she it's so easy for her to get off task. Marty, you and she she wants to do something that that challenges her uh, a little bit more. I'm gonna ask you the same thing with that. Okay, okay y'all. This is my niece Marley. Ain't she beautiful? Absolutely. We got some pretty kids in the family. That's not easy. <laughs> you want to go back to school or you want to stay home and do school work? Mm, Are you scared you're gonna get sick? So you want to go back to school? Mm -hmm. Mommy said hi. Hey, mommy. <laughs> hi, mommy. Come on, Woogie. I think they are going to shut things back down because they just told everybody we should go back to wearing masks every day. Hogan, like, you know. Hogan is in that yeah, place. Hold on, y'all. We about to put Wood again. Yeah, we getting the older kid now. Get the from a from a different perspective. This is Anaya. We call her Woogie. What grade are you going to? Uh, Fourth grade. Do you want to go back to school? Yeah. Don't yes. put the seat either. Don't. Say, she said no. Don't put no words in her mouth. <laughs> Do you want to go back to school? Although she said no. I told yes. her, don't put no words in her mouth. <laughs> Why do you want to go back to school? Um, I missed her school lunches. <laughs> What else do you get? Um, I actually want to see the big kid playground because I don't like the little kid one. All there is is just drums and plastic stuff. People be pushing each other and breaking their bones and all that stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to be there. <laughs> so are you af are you afraid that you might catch COVID if you go back to school? I already got sick anyway. But it's different from getting COVID. Mm -hmm. Are you worried about getting COVID? No. Okay. Do you want to get the vaccine? That's what I'm thinking. Your mom is a no. chef and you want school lunch? 
Hey, a wood just like food. Like she's a food. She ain't, like, so ain't nothing wrong with that. Have food. Ain't nothing wrong with food. We she like do. food. Nah, she do prefer for me to cook though. She do. Yeah, your food is bomb. Yeah, she do. She'd be crazy if she she just she just she just want what she want. But she also knows that since I'm a chef and I cook, most of the time I don't want to. <laughs> Don't like the baby That's because you don't ever want nothing. You always want that. What gourmet can I do with peanut butter and jelly? You always want me to eat peanut butter and jelly. That's what you asked for. I always get scared. You would just, just you don't cook for me anymore. You don't eat nothing no more. I do. I always ask everything you. I cook at home, you don't eat it. I do. What you eat? But we getting off task because she like because everybody like why you like school lunch and your mom's a chef. I be insulted sometimes, but kids gonna be kids, man. They like uh. She yeah. said, "Adisha, you better cook." I do. She said, "Oh, expose her now, <laughs> bro. I cook. I will post pictures of what I cook." So now y'all see how the kids feel about it. Like school some lunch. kids don't. Cook the kids anymore. I see want to go back to school. Well, look at all. Oh, look at that. Boy, oh boy. So now when I cook, you should be eating what I cook instead of saying you're going to eat cereal or no. No, the way Naya like, say no. She said, <laughs> she said my, my niece, niece like, Oh, this is oh, the queen lying. of lying. That's the queen of lying now. Boy, yeah, so, so, how do you feel about the kids going back to school? Are you sending baby girls to Thank you so uh, much for your opinion, or child. Or you want to keep her on? He said, that's your oh. they, look, they look just like, but Nisha looks just like mom. I do look like my mama. Yeah. My mama loves See, me. but we, we feel bad. And she we said, don't you want our, tried it. We don't want no. our kids to go. Well, I don't want my kids to go back. Well, they don't want, back. they don't like to eat nothing. All the good shit I make for them, they don't want it. So chicken nuggets, french fries, green beans, broccoli. They do like grits. Salmon, only thing, only thing they want to eat is uh, uh, fish and grits and, and turkey bacon. And that's they, and that's her auntie fault because the only thing the kids want to eat is damn breakfast food. They want me to cook breakfast all day. Oh, yeah, and they eat hot dogs and french fries. They do eat collard greens. The best greens for them to eat, they yeah, like you off topic. Sorry. Hot dogs and french fries. That's because Naya tried putting me out there like I don't be uh, outside. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, she said, what? Like, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know why the kids want to go back to school, though. That kids want to go back to school. This is what the friends. Be, yes, that's it. That's it. No, that's that's all the kids no. care about. They like, get sick, I'll wash my hands. They got cold medicine for that, like, Kids are willing to do those things now, like not all kids, not the young ones. Shit, I let me tell you, mine be like, I will do this, I will do that, I will do this, I will do that. If you just let me go with my friend, or they might just be like, you know what, my teacher ain't gonna yell at me and tell me sit my ass down and do this work. If I was your mother teacher, I would sit your ass. <laughs> they all tired of us. They tired of us yelling at them. Do your work. No, you ain't going nowhere. You ain't getting no snack. You ain't getting no nap. Do this work first. I don't even, but you know what? That was the thing though, because my kids seeing how different I am with versus their teacher. See, I'm I'm not going to do all that. I know you know how to do this work because I know what you're capable of. So don't sit here talking about you don't know how to do it. Now, I much rather what I respect about a night when it comes to like a, throughout the whole COVID thing. She was just like, I don't want when they first was talking about going back to school. She was like, no. Everybody's dying. <laughs> she was. She was like, no, everybody's dying. We can do virtual. And she was she was cool with it at first. And really, it was like, uh, it touched back to like what Q said, like how they had it structured. Like when they first started it and they were doing, um, I think Anaya was using like Microsoft Teams or something like that. How it was set up, it was so easy for the kids to go in, get on there with their teachers. Yeah, but 
they should have stuck with the same system they were using before. Mm -hmm. They came in and switched it out at the last minute, and these kids really struggled this year. They struggled, be and it wasn't even them. It was them trying to use this new system since they got all of this money when they should have just funneled the money back into the system they were already using See, they so they get the system, but the so they can upgrade it. But the equipment that they give the kids to do the work on is some shit. Oh, see that I don't even understand that. That's Anaya is in Charles County school. Her her joint flip over into a tablet like mine. It's oh, no, it's they got the little plastic ass Chromebooks. Oh yeah, them Chromebooks is trash. We can do. We got them Chrome. They Anaya and Kaden had Chromebooks when they was four. Yeah, them little Chromebooks. They did. Like oh y'all spoil ya. Y'all spoil. They had yeah, HP. I agree with that, but I try my best to take my kids out. I do mommy and whichever kid I take that day. Like I, I say, get them out. I take them to the park. They like going down to the park and going for a walk because for them, they don't, they don't. And I see the concern for real. My thing is with Naya is with the asthma. And I'm like, you know, after a while, she not gonna want to wear it because of the fact that she got a her lungs gotta work a lot harder yeah. with the mask. So, so on. It does. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what kind of mask it is either, because in the except for the little flimsy joints like we was wearing at work. That other than that, and then at that, it's not. It's it can't really. It don't really fit her face properly yeah. for her to wear it and not intake. That, yeah. Everything from outside. Mm -hmm. It's definitely hard now. So it's now see if I could give her the drink like I was wearing when I was sterilizing the operating room, the little blue drink oh, that y'all yeah. would see yeah. come. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't yeah. breathe nothing out that joint. Yeah, hell no. You if you you say you smell anything, it's only your breath. So you might want to check that. What? <laughs> your breath. Yeah. It's so. But I mean, other than that, that's that's the only thing I really worry about with work. And um, I just I look at the what am I actually I'm weighing the pros and the cons of the situation. Like, is it more beneficial, emotional, mental, health wise, you know, physical? And then I look at okay, how is this gonna impact my schedule mm -hmm. as far as you know me working and everything else that I got going on. It's just like, is is this going to be a good balance? For me right now, with this works for me because I can get so much more done because I know that she's here yeah. or I can take her with me and do what I need to do. She has solid places where she can go where it's just those people. They don't got a bunch of people coming in and out of their house. Mm -hmm. Those people are, even though they're going to work, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like Jay, you know, the tree. He's facilitating. He works in places that's populated with people, but at the same time, he makes sure that all that he does not interact with the kids when he got them clothes. He like no hugs, no kisses, no none of that. Let me take this off. You know, let me spray down. Let me do this. Like he do all of that. I'm like, but you know, it's you gotta you gotta do all of that stuff. And that was my thing because I I was thinking about going back to the hospital. But the bad part about going back to the hospital is you right there in the thick of it. Yeah. And we already and see and, and you know since we I'm since we worked there, it was hard. It was it's it's hard for me to uh to, to accept a lot of things because you know, even before COVID, you know, came spiking like it did, we were seeing the nasty shit that was going on in hospitals on a regular basis without a pandemic. And it was just like, no, thank you. So it's definitely like a big decision for us parents to have to choose what to do, um, what to do with our kids, especially going back to school. Y'all make sure that y'all are okay with the decision to make, because it's going to be hard. Um, so, yes. But, y'all, for our next show... I was thinking that we could talk about kids who get beat. Do y'all agree with beatings? I enjoy them being homeschooled and working from home because my mom and sister came here from Florida to stay for a long visit. And see, and that's that's what I like too, is because 
you have and I, re I really think it's better because you know your kid your child is still getting their education and they're able to still you know they're not away from family they're you know they're not away from you all day you know what i'm saying like i i used to feel bad as shit when, I was going, going to, when we was going to work and you know when i get to work and i'm just i'm steam driven and i'm just going into whatever i'm doing and you know when anaya is like right there it's it's something totally different like i'm like okay i gotta do this one okay she gotta do this she gotta do that so with her being home it has definitely forced me to become a lot more organized and gotta have some kind of schedule gotta really break things down but it definitely it definitely makes things a lot easier for me because i don't have um I don't have uh I don't have a lot. I feel like it's just less for me to worry about because I I know she's in one she's in one spot she's good but at the same time you know I can also spend time with spend more time with her versus her you know being at school and I can make sure that she's you know she excelling this because we doing it together. I feel more a part of her success and the things that she's learning and things that she's going uh going forward on but um so you just want next topic spanking your kids how yeah. do you feel about spanking your kids don't answer that we're gonna talk about it next time. i mean i'm saying that's what somebody just says it. yes mm -hmm. i have a lot we're not answering that, that question topic. that is next topic yeah that's monday's topic yeah that's the person that gave me that idea that's not oh okay <laughs> Beat yeah, we're gonna talk about on Monday. That's our Monday topic: kids getting beaten, beaten, beat and be abused. I got a lot to say about that too. Whoopin's mode of the uh, ninety kids. <laughs> you are not a nineties kid. She's sad. All right, so y'all, y'all stay tuned for Monday. Monday, I got we're gonna my talk ass. about me. kids and beatings <laughs> and getting abused. And what type? What forms of? Uh, forms of abuse there are. Yeah, definitely. And we can talk about yeah. those. So, I'm going to wear my glasses on Monday, y'all. I'm coming with all the good stuff. Well, we will see you guys on Monday. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Monday at and 6. The only time that is 8 is Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Yeah. So we will see you guys on Monday. Peace.